Hello everybody, welcome here for the seventh stop of the Euro Tour here in Alutaguze 2022 Baltic Disc Golf Championship Alutaguze Open. We are here to comment on the FBO first round feature. Let's go, I'm here with Rex Nell. Hey, hey, my man. Hey, Max, really happy to be back in the booth with you. We are in Estonia, folks. It is awesome to be back in the Baltics, and uh, we've got a great uh, track lined up for you here through the forest and a really cool feature card as well. If you guys don't know, Max is the manager for MDG Media, more disc golf, and I am one of the videographers doing T-Cam and Catch Cam. So let's dig in to our feature card. Who do we got today? So we have new faces compared to our previous coverages. Christy and here from Estonia, 896 players. Let's see out of Tallinn. Second on the card, also from Estonia, Anna Grete Arak. 877 rated player. Again, let's see how it goes on, the, on the her side. Then out of Sech Republic, we have Yarmila Avi Avirova, sorry for that. Out of Prague, the capital, 862 rated player. And last on the card, we know her from our previous coverages, Maria Livamagi from Estonia, 875 rated player, just coming back from Nokia last weekend. Let's see. I think that's the loudest uh, sponsorship piece we've got so far, Max. <laughs> <laughs> we'll need to cut that up or just slow it down. So hole one here in the woods, so far 395 meters. So you have an uphill slope to go to the basket and all along the, the fairway. So straight shot to the, to the target. Pretty okay, nothing special, no bees. Let's go. I think what you'll see here is just the amount of trees. And that is a constant theme in this course. We got a uh, first shot by Christy right up the fairway. It looks to be just on the edge of the circle. Really nice first drive. Yeah, super nice drive. And here's the forehand line by Anna Grete right in the middle. Uh, it's a bit short, but still she's clean on her first throw. Yeah, controlled. Oh, look at this. Backhand turning over. Will it flex back? Yes, it does. Right in the middle for Yarmila from Czech Republic. Uh, very similar to Anna Grete. Uh, doing our work oh. for us. <laughs> There's Maria. She is a predominant sidearm player. And yeah, look yeah. at this. Will it flex back? A uh, mm. bit, bit too much power on that, but she should yeah. still have a shot up to the basket. Overturned, but okay. We'll see, she will have a look to go to the basket from there. Well, here we go. Definitely going with the forehand as usual. It's quite uphill, eh, Max? Look at this uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. angle. Come and on. that's a good line. Not bad. That puts her in the circle. She'll be putting for par. And Anna Grete that we are discovering today, also going for two forehands on her first two shots. Pretty similar to Maria. Bit of a tester for her first putt of the tournament. Now, this would be a long look. Let's see if she runs it. Okay. Going easy peasy on that first hole. Here is Yarmila's upshot right under the basket. And Maria, oh, that was a par putt and it just uh, missed left side chains. And not able to save the par here. Similar look from Enegrete. Bit closer. Oh, mm, just off just, on the right. Yeah. Need to catch the chains here. Not beginning with worse than a bogey, please. Yep. Nice. Good height, dead center. Nice putt from Anna Grete. I think it can be tough to make your first putt of a new tournament, you know, from like seven meters for anybody. So that's yeah. where all that putting practice comes into in handy but uh for those disc golfers watching and listening you know that feeling for sure so she missed that one but hopefully she'll get the next yeah or you have a seven meters putt before birdie so we got <laughs> two pars two pars and two bogeys and now let's move on to hole number two yeah so uh hole two 67 meters par three so pretty yeah 
easy peasy straight shot to the basket slightly uphill slope to go there but uh, nothing special again no bees straight line let's see it should be a mid-range shot for all the ladies here yeah and this hole was playing as one of the easiest of the day for our fbo field and uh christie's left it a bit f outside of the circle though that's going to be a, a circle two look again yeah, a bit early, early release for her. And Anna Greta just rocks up and puts it in the bullseye. That was amazing. Yeah, I correct you, but it was Yarmila, oh, my friend. Thank you. Thank you very much. We, we have Anna Greta right this now. This is Anna Greta. <laughs> and missing the bullseye, she looks to be circled two on the other side. Yeah, a bit more comfortable situation than the previous hole, definitely. And this girl I know, Maria, putting it uh, inside of the circle. Great shot there. Now, let's... And so you know if you want to compare hole two from the men are like hole two and three for the women here so you have the first part of the fairway from uh, the mpo field so you know it's information for you my friend Ooh. oh just missed that's two circle two attempts by christy but she should have a nice tap in for the par big birdie putt here for maria yeah to get back the stroke nice nice one from maria yeah that Getting is a back to even bounce back stat too a birdie after a bogey is a good thing to pad your stats yeah always loving it after dropping a stroke on the first hole and yarmila with a super easy birdie good job from her and that was the second easiest hole on the day for the FPO field. So kind of a, a bit of a musket birdie in a way. Yeah, one of the most wanted one, definitely. As we head to hole three, par three, 115 meters. So you have a first shot, kind of an Enheiser release from the hand, maybe a forehand if you're comfortable with. So going down first, then uphill slope to go to the basket on the second part of the fairway no bees nothing special again on that side let's go so yarmila has the turnover walking off the tee box and she is in the fairway okay middle of it she will have an open look to the basket this is a sidearm specialty for sure for maria Look at this. Oh, she's gone a bit long, but kicks back into the fairway. Nice tree kick there. Yeah, it's a really tight line to go with the forehand. I think it's pretty a bit easier to go with the with the back in here. Now look at this turnover. This is beautiful. It can flex out of that. Yeah, not bad. Good shot. Yeah, I was trying to fight going downhill. You really need to throw a, a very overstable disc to get it out of that out of that turn. Yeah, definitely. Edge of the green. Yeah, she'll have another long look. And now here is Anna Grete with the forehand. Okay, so you, as you can see, you really need to go tight. Mm, not able to, to see where it landed. Oh, she's in the woods. And it looks like not a bad line to the basket. She was definitely obstructed, but uh, she's found herself in circle two for a long look at the par save. Yeah, hitting the gap. Super nice. Ooh, Maria playing the, the tight side of the basket, but getting lucky. She's fought through there. Now, here's a big birdie look. Oh, Ooh. man, Christy is hunting. Hey, that's three in a row, like just missed from circle two. Oh, so so for your information, Yamila is a super fast player. So sometimes the camera guys were in trouble. Making our Inform job hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Information for everybody here be cool with them because it was pretty hard on the first day all right here's a par putt for maria she's in nice getting comfortable on the green super nice taking the par first of the day for her yeah we're not really sure where yarmila ended up it's a tap in par so they must be closer Oh yeah, I can see the other two discs there. So Yarmila is the yellow one. And here are two tap-ins. Okay, a bogey for Anna Grete. And Yarmila with an obvious bar here. 
Easy peasy slow start for three ladies here. Anna Gret a bit struggling, heading to hole four, 93 meters, par three. So you start straight into the middle of the fairway here and going into the woods, into the right. So forehand is the main option, I would say. Good for Maria and Anna Gret here. You can also turn over a backhand with a mid range or a fairway driver. A lot of garden trees, so yeah. Some of the disc will catch definitely. We should mention too, this was just pristine disc golf weather today. Absolutely perfect conditions to be playing in Estonia. And uh, it's just such a nice track through the woods here. Hey, we got Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of a gamble at the end, you know, no, this nothing looks good. super obvious road to go to the, to the basket. Does but... Maria have the distance? Oh, yeah. almost, almost. That's nice amazing. Shot. Right on yeah. circle's edge. Great forehand line there. And it looks and like Christy's going for the same, looking for her first birdie. It's a bit, a bit high. Yeah, it's but... too high. Does it have the distance? Mm. Mm, she's going to have an obstructed look. Yeah, she's got the power. If that was a bit lower with the nose down, I think it could have made it there. Here's a nice shot. Come on, go. Wow. Get lucky. Oh, the... Come on. Ah. Mm, it was a bit short, but a really nice line though taking the way and for your information greg you know perfect condition no wind but no wind means mosquitoes mosquitoes here. yeah i know oh, you're yeah. talking to a canadian i grew up <laughs> with that shit yeah mozzies are uh the enemy oh but yeah if you got good bug spray then uh hopefully you'll be all right but yeah it's tough holding a camera in the woods especially when people are off the fairway because as a cameraman you can't really swat at the mosquitoes and you just get eaten alive yeah, definitely. And, you know, you can you can buy some uh, mosquitoes, you know, spray into the, the supermarkets, but not, yeah, not powerful enough, I would say. And we Maria... need it to go to a special shop, but <laughs> let's, let's get back to it. <laughs> Maria just missing a birdie putt there. That was a really good attempt off the bottom of the band. And there's a comeback par for Christy. And it looks like we're going to be seeing two more pars from our feature yeah. card. Exactly. I love putting technique from Christy. Like super simple, dead straight, yeah, not she's, too much thinking. It's pretty nice. She's got a clean card right now too. I mean, she's uh, four pars in a row, but leading. Oh no, she's not. Sorry, we've got a minus one on the on the card as well. Yeah, yeah, Mila. Okay, and thank you to Disc Sports Europe to sponsor this event. Hole 5 here, 83 meters, par 3, so uphill slope on the first part of the fairway and then fading to the left to go to the basket. Super protected uh, green here, as you can see, a lot of garden trees, so back end is the option, going high and fading, following the line. We'll see if Maria is going for the forehand here. But she will hit, she will need to go with the turnover definitely. First up is Yarmila throwing a beautiful shot right down the middle of the fairway. Get some good fade and not bad. She'll be a bit obstructed, but uh, she'll have a look. Super hard to get to that green. It's especially crazy. when you're throwing forehand. Oh so yeah, yeah. Maria, as we said, is a forehand dominant, and she'll be looking to play this for par. I think with just an upshot from where she's landed. Oh, early going through. No way. Let's wow. go. Man. Okay, she will have an option for the birdie here. There's enough power on that disc and spin to just cut right through those trees. Let's see. This is following a similar line, but does not get the same result. Catching the pine tree. Oh, she's looking at a sidearm here. There must be a backdoor gap that she can see, and she's found it. What a wow. shot. Fantastic result from uh, Anna Grete after getting knocked down by the tree on her drive. She'll be looking at par from just outside of the bullseye. Here's Mar Maria's got Perfect. such a good approach game, man. Wow. We've seen this on a number of events so far this uh, season here in Europe. And uh, one of her strongest throws, in my opinion, is uh, definitely the, the putter upshot with the flick forehand. There's a birdie. Man, so cool. I love it. 
Yeah, that was a nice putt. Birdie. Great to see her uh, be able to get that result. Bit high out of uh, Yarmina. I'm not going to get her name wrong. Yeah, that's right, Yarmina. But it's in the basket, so that's good. And a good par save for Maria. So Christy back in the lead card-wise with Yarmila, minus one, heading to hole six, 105 meters, par three. So you go downhill, but you won't be impacted by this. You will keep your height here to go to the basket there. Slope is going back up there. So yeah, again, maybe the green a bit dangerous, you know, catching a cage or a bend and rolling, but no bees, nothing, no, no trees to, to protect a bit more and a, a bit too much. So let's go. And these are really fun holes to throw as a player. Yeah. Yeah. You get to watch the disc fly, you know, on a beautiful line over valleys. And that looks like it got Ooh. really lucky through the back door. It, it made it pin high, but she'll have an obstructed look to the basket. Here's the sidearm from Christy, also fading a bit early. Uh-oh. Mm. That's in the thick of it. That's where the mosquitoes are. Exactly. And here comes Maria. Oh, Ooh. no. Keep your line. Man, they're all fading out to that right side. Yeah, good kick for Maria. That's true. She'll have a look. Another sidearm from Anagrete. Great angle here from our guys. Let's see if this is going to skip up that hill. Come on. Ooh, almost. Yeah, okay. She will have an uphill putt. Good shot. Keeping the line. And here it is. And she plays first. Let's go. Okay. Good up shot. Christy with an open look. Maybe some trees in the way, but should find a gap. Ooh, big exactly. flexing forehand. That was a nice shot. Yeah, beautiful approach. Get down. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, good one also with the back door. Now it looks like Maria's got a clean look at the basket. But still most likely just outside of the circle. Oh, oh I thought it was good. A bit low. Good line. Yeah, good line. So we got three tap-ins here and a bit of a tester. But not for Yarmila. <laughs> Maybe just for me. <laughs> She's in. <laughs> uh, you're right. She plays like a lightning bolt. Hey. Yeah, no thinking. Just going for it. That's a style. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All right. So all par for for the group. Pretty nice. So just a few bogeys for Anagrete. Struggling at the start, but uh, finding back his her. Her cruising her groove my man her groove exactly her groove. I, I was gotcha. looking for it so bar uh hole seven bar three 75 meters you just have a mando on the left that you need to avoid uphill slope uh, all along the the fairway and you will see that elevated basket super elevated basket super dangerous on the green as there is a super downhill slope after the basket so be careful on the putting ste on the putting uh, area let's see yeah ideal throw here is probably a, a high backhand hyzer yeah just like definitely. that flipping up to flat let's see if it'll fade into the circle oh long there's that yeah but it's good. it's good you know better to be long and just having that uphill putt a bit more comfortable okay super hyzer release but Flying and gliding, nice. Yeah, I'm interested to see how far Christy got down there because uh, you're right that the slope behind the basket is really punishing and it'll be interesting to see what her lie is. Let's, oh, ah. there's forehands fading out early. Yeah, Just not enough too turn. much flex. Yeah, exactly. And our final drive of the group, Anna Grete. She made the Mando. Oh. She made the Mando. And to us close. Now this looks to be like another big hyzer shot. Ooh, man. Plinko. You can see all those trees make it tough if you find yourself a little off the fairway. You got to pick your gap. So here's her third shot looking to approach right under the basket. Mm -mm. Uh, it had that tree in its sights the entire way. 
So I expect Maria to just lay up here. Yeah, I don't know if she's... Ah, oh, okay. And we're in approach. Oh, no! Not usual to see that from Maria. Catching an early tree in the way. So here's the bogey layup for Anna Grete. Yeah, she just wants to get off this hole. Yeah, Mila right under the basket to tap in her par. It's the third shot from Maria. Also doesn't want any of that elevated basket. Yeah, neither does Christy. Look at how high that basket is compared to where yeah. she is. It's crazy, man. That's whole. When I saw that basket that high, <laughs> not easy for the players. No, absolutely not. I mean, you need to be in the bullseye or or have like, you know, balls of steel to be running that putt. If you airball going down that hill, look at the background there, <laughs> you know? You're going to be in like yeah. back in the in the woods. And we got a tap in par from Christy. And a tap and double bogey, unfortunately, for Anagrete. Yeah, first double here on the round. Heading to hole 8. 111 meters, par 3. So as you can see, it's a straight line to the basket. Downhill at the start slightly and then going up to the target. So yeah, trees on the right, trees on the left, going straight to the line following the path and again some garden trees on the right from the basket but nothing special no bees let's go yeah there isn't really any ob on this course to speak of it's just the the rough and the trees that can get you off course really easily look at yeah, this completely. flexing just through natural punition punishment here mm -hmm, exactly and this hole is actually playing uh, the hardest on our front nine for this uh this first round of fpo so not an easy one to attack now let's see it looked like christy's drive ended up in a pretty good position maria's trying to follow that that flex line but she's a bit lower and it looks like she got caught up in some trees and here we've got anagrete also looking at the forehand That's a bit early on the left side. She'll be down around where Maria ended up. Was this a sky forehand Anheuser? It looks like, and you can hear all the bugs and mosquitoes yeah. around the cameras. It's crazy. <laughs> Amazing. That was actually a really nice shot. She'll uh, give herself a look for the par. You got the patent pending stance from Yarmina and similar result. Long putt for the par. Maria in Skeeto, Mosquito Heaven. Oh, nice shot. Get the skip up the hill. Yeah, let's Beautiful go. Beautiful upshot. Counter skip. She'll have a drop in par. From that uh, location, that's a really nice result. Great throw. Christy is Super a very... Nice. Yeah, I mean, that was a pretty easy uh, sidearm approach for her. Nice hyzer shot, and she's in the bullseye. Small forehand. Oh, okay, a bit long. Should be okay. Now, Anna, or sorry, Yarmila could give this a bit of a run. Oh, mm. Almost. That's going to be a first bogey for her. Get back to even. And Anna get it. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. Ah, uh, you don't like this. No, okay, do a double bogey for her then. Ah, no, it's tough to see. And Christy keeping the pace. You know, like spinning the putt from super high on the chest. Super, yeah. I yeah, like she's it. she's got good form. You're right. It's a. It looks like a really confident putting stroke that she could make, you know, from where she just was at three meters all the way to, you know, well into circle two. Exactly. She's just got to change the amount of power and spin, but it's, uh, the putting is an incredible thing, eh? Being able to see how many different forms are out there all aiming for the same result. Yeah, super personal. 
And let's go for the last hole of that front nine. Hole nine, par 383 meters. So downhill slope all along the fairway. There is a Mendo at the end of it, just before the basket that you need to avoid just on the left. You will need to keep your disc on the right. Again, straight shot, mid-range. Mid-range or a better shot. Let's see. All right, we've got Christy on the tee. She's lining up the backhand, which which uh, looks to be a fairway driver, something a bit faster. On the oh, big high okay. hyzer. We're going. Hmm. Not sure if she made it. Uh, I saw it land just on the right side of our screen there, so she'll be on the left side of the basket, probably just outside of the circle, but obstructed. Oh yeah, okay, but uh, wasn't sure about the Mendo. Oh right, okay, sorry, my bad. Whoa! Oh no! That looked like it missed the Mando. Yeah, exactly. That missed it. Wow, bad kick. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mila wants nothing to do with that. That's a layup for sure. Oh, good kick, man. Yeah, yeah. She's she was fading bad. She's looking to play this for par two. <clears> uh, you know, short uh, backhand shots. But Anna Greta looks like she's going for the basket. Oh, oh, caught the super first early birch tree that uh, that white tree on the right. She's kicked. I don't. I didn't see if it went left or right, but see what she's got. Okay, not sure. Okay, back door way for Anagrete. Turning the thing, flexing oh, wow, it. Wow, what a shot! Super. Oh, oh wow, that was beautiful. That was fantastic. Perfect wow. flexing forehand. Not a wobble on the disc at all. Got a great kick off the tree and the roll, and she's just outside of bullseye. Then Yarmila playing that backhand as it's uh, suspected, and she's just outside of circle one. So great she'll have angle. some work. This is for birdie. Oh, no, but she missed the Mando, right? Yeah, That's the drop yeah. zone. That was for she's par. the drop zone, exactly. Oh, and it's rolling. Shoot, that's gone actually relatively far under a tree. That'll be a tough bogey comeback. Wow, let's go. That was Great a, save. That was a dagger. <clears throat> what a putt. Oh, what a way to finish the front nine here. So this is our birdie attempt. And yeah, not a clean look at all. Yeah, too many branches. Yeah, those way. evergreens are, are terrible, <clears throat> man. Ah, Maria, mm. unfortunate. Bit too much on the right for Maria. It's gonna be a double to finish the first nine holes. And Anna Grete to save the great bar. Beautiful. Yeah, her second shot was uh was just a fantastic, fantastic shot. Yeah, that's the way to bounce back after two doubles. Mm -hmm. And Christy, super comfortable again. So yeah. We have the first nine holes in the book, man. Hey, hey, round one action of our FPO feature card coverage with more disc golf MDG media. And I am here, Greg Snell, joined with Maxime Tanche. And we are looking forward to seeing you guys on the back nine and then throughout this entire weekend in Alatagouze, Estonia. Yeah, Christy in the lead. Minus one, super clean start. Let's see how the, the other group went. Here we have it. Aha, so, tied oh, at the lead. Okay. Tied at the lead with Eleri, Eleri Astak. Jennifer Lan also on the fourth place, plus two after the first nine. Let's see. Oh, that's great to see, man. They're all pretty close after the first nine. So exciting stuff heading into the rest of our tournament. And as you can see all the sponsors, we thank you for joining us on the channel to watch some FPO action and see you on the back nine, guys.